Hey guys, Shung here. In this tutorial, we're gonna teach you how to make a YouTube intro and using like or making it look like that you're recording the screen of your monitor. And this is a very nice intro to make and also, uh, yeah, if you want to make any other website or anything that has this kind of feel to it, maybe like Google search and other things. So first what we have to do is do a screen recording so i've already recorded that so if you have like uh basically a, a suggestion to you guys like download obs or any of the free screen recording softwares and just record your screen that you're going to your youtube channel so what i've recorded is this so basically just uh yeah going to your channel or going to youtube itself and then go to the search bar type in your own channel name and then go to it so basically have that recorded what i've also done was uh, keep the browser small so that the search bar is close to the youtube logo instead of that it's very far apart from each other so this is basically the recording and uh, what we're now going to do is um, grab that video that is here and we're going to right mouse click on it and we're going to make a new sequence from clip. You can see that it's extremely big or filling the screen because this is like a 5K recording because my uh, iMac is a 5K screen so that's why it's such a big image. And we're going to do a few things here first we're gonna do a few edits so we have like a quicker thing because I've basically moved quite slow on here so want to just pretty much directly just go into like typing so there and well right okay so so what we want to do is do a quick edit so it's much faster. So here, just directly quickly start typing here. Cut there. Move this to the front. Let's see where I go. Stop when I stop typing there. I add another cut. And then just quickly there. Just lose a few frames so it's a bit faster. So that'd be like a load. And then this, it depends if we want to keep this, but we could just directly go to here. I think. Yeah, we can just skip this search result and just fly directly to our page, which I think probably would be a better thing. This have a little bit of a load. So that would be like directly. Let's have that to five seconds. Do another cut. And then the last one here when we start scrolling. Basically give it a look. There. So that's a bit faster. So when we look at it. So that is basically what we want. So we have like less than 10 seconds, which for me is fine. And now I have on my website a uh, special image. You can go to the link in the description below. And I have basically a uh, image prepared, which is the RGB grid. You can download that from my website. So we're gonna drag this here onto here above the video. You will see like this grid and what it does, it replicates like uh, an old TV or old, uh, LCD monitor you see like the actual pixels however nowadays with new uh, screens you won't see that but this just gives it that effects that it looks like that and um, we're gonna scale this down though uh, we're gonna make this 75 and we're gonna move this to above like the section of well, the browser that we're gonna use 
with this. However, this I'm scaling it down because uh, of my extreme skill uh, recording, though. But uh, it really depends on if you have also done like similar recording. But um, what we're also going to change here is the opacity to 20. And we're going to change the blend mode to multiply. So now we can see if we actually do here a close up. We can see this texture on it that looks very similar like to that we have like RGB pixels on the screen. So that is basically what it's simulating. Now we're going to make a new sequence here, new item and then choose sequence. I'm going to make mine 2.5K, you can do 4K or 1080p, it depends on uh, your own needs. For me it's 2.5K because I feel like I just want to upload 2.5K videos instead of any bigger. We're going to drag in this uh, yeah, sequence that we've just made and we're going to drag in a few effects here. So go to effects, going to grab offset. So you can type it here in the search bar for offset and use offset first. And then after grab basic 3D. So I'm using Quicklist. I have a tutorial on that and uh, I suggest you to make it Quicklist too. So you don't have to search for the effects and directly grab from your Quicklist. So go to effects control and see the two effects, the offset and the basic 3D. So let's offset it so we have like the area that we need. So actually we need to cut the clip a little bit. So we have like going from the search here till the next. Let's see, there's still a thing in between. So cut here and let's see here. So we have that and actually I'm going to remove the audio because we don't need that. Okay, on link and then delete. And now go to effects control and we are going to scale this up to 300. So we want to have that search part and we're going to offset this so we have like the search and YouTube logo that we want to see like this and we'll go to basic 3D and we're gonna swivel this so we have like a 3D effect going on however also add a little bit of a tilt so we have like a tilted screen or tilted uh, laptop monitor or laptop screen going on this looks good. Maybe offset a little bit more so that we have like the search bar a little bit more in the middle of the screen. Like this. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more. Like that. Okay. So now if we play this, we have this search going on. However, of course, it's a little bit too static. We want to have a bit of movement. So instead of swivel 40, maybe want it to be even more. So make this minus, oh, make this minus 40, have a little bit more and then press the stopwatch to add a keyframe. Move it a little bit and then make this minus 35. Move this to the end. Now when we play this, we have like a nice slow swivel. So that looks nice. Okay. And for the second one here, let's, uh, yeah. Mm. I don't feel like we need to zoom in too much, but maybe a little bit. So let's go to effects control. Just zoom in till it fills the screen a bit. And let's actually add the swivel here. So also make it minus 40 and then tilt it. 
and from here we can actually zoom in a little and offset this till it fits the screen in a nice way like that and yeah let's add that swivel effect also minus uh, 35 and move this keyframe to the end so now we have this going on okay maybe zoom in a little bit more i'm not quite sure um now actually offset it a little bit more so search bar or the yeah the browser bar there actually 175 so it's more filling and set this okay Let's see like that yep Okay, so now when we play this, we have this going on. Okay. And now, even though it doesn't look that bad, but it is, um, you might want to add something to it because it looks too sharp everything because we're going to mimic like that you're using a camera filming your screen so it should have like some depth of field so for that we're going to add uh, or actually bake make a kind of uh, tilt shift effect so now select both of the clips and hold down alt and drag it up so now we have a copy of both of them and we're going to actually this one we're going to right mouse click and select nest and press OK and the other one also right mouse click and nest and then OK we're gonna add a Gaussian blur to both of them so Gaussian blur and Gaussian blur to effects gonna add a blur of 15 for here so just see, so we have it slightly blurred, uh, maybe even more, 30, yeah, this looks good. And the other one also 30, so it's blurred out. And now basically to do that, um, yeah, the tilt shift effect, we're gonna scale this down to 50. So now select the clip on the top layer and then we're going to go to opacity, select the pen tool and we're gonna draw a rectangle around the area that we find the most important to have to focus on, which is of course the search area here. And now we're gonna change the feathering. We're gonna drag it as, yeah, pretty big. 300 should be fine. And now when we play this, let's see, this and fit, we have this nice blurred sides going on. So we have like the middle here in focus, sharp, and here on the side we have like some blurring going on. So we have that depth of field look or tilt shift here. So. For the second one, we're gonna do the same. However, um, might want to play it a little bit different, um, like an actual tilt shift and more extreme uh, angled. So for here, select the top clip here. Again, at opacity, the pen tool. We'll actually scale this down to 50. Now with the pen tool, we're gonna draw around the area that we find most important like this this sh looks like an interesting blur like a s tilt shift 
and yeah so we have these things in focus and also feathering to 300 and now if we look at this at fit play this have this blurred here and this blur here give it an interesting look how it's focused on hope you found this a very useful tutorial to make the intro to your videos or youtube channel and if you have any suggestions for other tutorials make sure to comment those here below and thank you guys for watching and if you want to see more videos like this make sure to hit that subscribe button here below thank you all and cd out